Hi there, this is Rob at Reason101.net, and I'm here to show off a few more patches from my Pure Effects refill, which uh, is coming out um, the beginning of October, I guess, uh, as soon as Reason6 is here. It's got 1,250 patches, it's got tons of um, alligators and echoes and pulverizers and combinators up the wazoo, so it's got lots of stuff in it. And um, it's all effects, so I figured since Reason 6 is all about effects, um, let's do a refill that's all about effects as well. You get uh, 200 of each of the three new device patches, so you get three, 200 alligators, 200 echoes, 200 pulverizers. You get about 100 screams, um, you get actually 108 screams, and you get 100 uh, RV7000 patches, reverb patches. And among those, you get 200 combinators, and the list goes on and on. You've got a ton of stuff. You're going to love it. Buy it. Trust me, it's good. Um, so I'm going to show off a couple of alligators. Um, this time, I'm in the... Uh, this is the drum loops folder for the alligator patches. So there's there's a lot of patches in here. I think there's probably about uh, between 30 and 40 different patches. And if you have a drum loop, I'm just, I've bypassed this right now. So we're just doing a dubstep loop here. And I have a couple of patches that are built for dubstep. So when you turn it on, that's what it sounds like. And then you can go through the different ones. Yeah, so I've got four different dubsteps here. Of course, you can use all the any of the other ones if you want. Like, if you want to try to hip hop one on the dubstep loop, you can. But you can also um, just add in a hip hop loop. Uh, so let's go to hip hop folder. And then you got some other ones, and we can try different ones out. So lots of stuff in there. Now, if we open up, um, let's just go into the Reason Factory sound bank. Let's go into Thor patches. Let's open up a bass. Uh, let's see what's a good base. Uh, let's see, my controller is not playing correctly. Why is that? It's on. Hmm, probably because I don't have it in focus. Yep. Okay, so I've got a bass in there. Um, this is the drum loop folder, like I said. But if you go to the alligator patches folder, you've got some all-purpose ones. You got um, there. You got all-purpose. You got bass. You got pads. You got special effects. You got synths. So let's try out some of the basses. There's a nice little wobbler for you. built for wobblers, so let's take out a wobbler. Okay, so you got that. You got a whole bunch of different bases in here. So let's just go down the list. So 
So yeah, so you've got a lot of different choices in there, a lot of different selections, and um, of course we also have some other alligator patches. We've got some pad patches. Uh, let's just turn on some rhythmification here. Let's open the browser. We'll get to a Thor patch that is a pad patch. Uh, let's see. This just rhythmifies the pad. As you can see, there's lots of different variations on um, uh, and lots of different patches that are built specifically for the alligators, and they're broken down according to these different categories. So you've got synths, you've got different special effects. Special effects are really kind of um, just way out their ways to use the alligator. So if you play it, it'll probably sound very strange. Let's not take a pad. Instead, let's just take a synth. Take a poly synth and let's see. Aggressive soft. Maybe not. Yeah, the special effects are built for different kind of extreme effects. So that's just a demo of some of the different alligator patches that are included in the Pure FX refill. Um, you can get more information about this refill at uh, reason101.net. And uh, I'm Rob, and I hope you've enjoyed this uh, little demonstration. And thanks for watching, and thanks for listening.